everyone and welcome back to this 2022 um, sort of new year refresh um, clean with me. I've got my to-do list ready so if you've got your to-do list ready or whether you're just sitting back um, soaking up the motivation to get in and get what you need done. Now what we're like eight days into the new year but um, yeah I sort of haven't really had time to do this so Corbin series just um, took her before a little walk so I'm gonna get in and get as much of this done that I can and then we have to leave soon because um, Harper's getting her ears pierced so I'll try and film a little clip of that and insert that somewhere in here as well um, but yeah so let's jump in get this done um, I've got a little bit to get through just things that have been sort of on my mind that I just want to clear off um, yeah and just and, and start fresh because Colvin goes back to work this week so yeah I'm just going to get in and get sort of a little bit of order freshness cleanness happening so let's get into it So I'm just setting my diffuser. I'm just putting some good old lemon essential oil in there. Just so refreshing. And I've just really been like sort of levitating towards um, the citrus essential oils lately. I think that's just because of the heat and, and everything here. Like so humid and yeah, citrus is just so refreshing. So we're setting the Aria diffuser and then I'm heading straight into the bedroom. Needed to strip um, our bedding, get that in the washing machine. And then I get Kelvin to put that on because this is a weekend, um, obviously when I'm filming this. So I'll get him to put that on when it's done because the sheet, I just struggle um, with this bed because how thick um, and heavy the mattress is. So he'll do that for me when they come off the line. On today's to-do list, my ensuite was something that I'd been wanting to do um, for a little while now. And seeing it's been so hot here, like it's just been a struggle for me to clean the shower. Like it's not normally something that I dread because like I have the, the shower remover sort of nozzle thing and it, it makes it really easy to, to rinse everything off. But yeah, lately I was struggling so I got in today and got that done after stripping my bed so it was done and dusted out of the way. Now I'm sorry if you're somebody that doesn't like seeing people clean their toilets but I mean I always have and I'm bringing you along today, hopefully bringing you motivation um, to, get, to get your space clean and tidy. But yeah, so I'm bringing you along for everything I'm doing today. Um, yeah, so the, the shower, I was so relieved once the shower was done. Um, like yeah such a weight lifted when you clean the showers now because i'm somebody i've mentioned this before i'll look around at things until they're done they'll be playing on my mind now i often think i i, I got this like handed down from one of my parents um, and god bless my father i don't think it was him even though he's he's pretty he's a pretty clean man like he's the sort of man that um even in his own home he'll get a glass out of the cupboard and sort of rinse it before he uses it even though they're his um glasses and he's obviously washed them but yeah so he's sort of like that that's just something i remember um about my dad but yeah but my mum on the other hand god bless her and i know she watches watches my videos so mum i love you but i i'm putting it I'm putting this this down to, to my, my mother because she was a cleaner for so long and yeah I just remember going home from school in the afternoon and we had this sort of pinky oh, light pink not yeah like not obviously bright pink but it was sort of like a blushy pink sort of color I mean carpet from what I remember like when I was 
at high school and school and I would come home from school and you could see the vacuum lines where she'd been into your bedroom you know and vacuumed the house so just little things that, that I remember like that so yeah I really um, am, am putting this down to my mum like she always says oh as you get older you know that that will fizzle out and I must admit I, I feel you know probably the last two years it probably has a little bit or probably more so since Harper's been here so 17 months um, it, it probably has fizzled out a bit compared to how I used to be um, I still vacuum every day I probably usually would have got the vacuum out maybe twice a day but now it's just down to once a day um, but yeah and I, I just yeah I, I definitely feel the older that I'm getting I'm 32 now um, but um, yeah I definitely feel the change with, with things that compared to what I used to do and be like I'd love to know in the comments just you know to, to sort of get used to know you use a bit better on a more personal level if if you are sort of somebody like this like have have you noticed yourself over the years as you know as you have you got as you have gotten that little bit older have you noticed sort of things changing like this with you like how you used to be to, to now how you are or yeah I'd just love to know like like in the comments what you're like or are you somebody that can leave it you have like one set cleaning day a week or because that sort of thing always interests me like I'm constantly asking people you know when is your sort of cleaning day like you know I'll sort of look at the hand basin if I'm not filming I'll sort of save it for obviously when I'm filming but if I'm if I'm not filming I'll sort of just clean my vanities hand basins when I sort of see you know that they're looking a bit grubby I'll, I'll give them a clean so I'm sort of just that sort of person I don't have a set day I am obviously filming this on on a Saturday this Colvin's home so I just sort of make it that bit easier so that he could sort of be with Harper and I can just get in it and smash it all out but yeah leave me a comment down below I'd love to know sort of what you're like in that way I was yours for the taking guess I needed a home but if I'm not mistaken you were good on your own oh. and I know I know I was drunk enough didn't know didn't know it would mess me up yeah now I'm truly awakened oh. say you want to talk again but it's time I do this my way Now we're just moving on to the sort of main toilet area. Now I know these rooms have a you know name, but I'm just I just call it the main toilet, like what the guests and visitors use, I suppose. So yeah, I'm just giving that a clean. Corbin's the only one that really uses this. Um, like I said, unless my mum or someone comes over. But yeah, so it wasn't too bad. I'm just still giving it a once over though, and then I'm going to actually go in the main bathroom, like where the bathtub is, where Harper baths, and then I'm just going to give that a clean out too, and the vanity hand basin in there as well. Now, the day that before this video um, went live, I uploaded it, um, was the Wednesday. Obviously, the day before I'm due to go back to work on the Thursday, and I was just sitting on the couch under the fan whilst I put Harper down for a nap because she was real yeah the last week or you know yeah week or so she's been in a real sort of funny mood not like real so clingy or, or anything like that but I mean she'll still wander off and, and do her own thing every now and then and whatever but yeah just and sort of temperatures like hot um yeah like I know that she's still obviously getting teeth in and, and still doing all of that but yeah I've just noticed a little difference in her and last night she 
woke up at 12 o'clock and sort of struggled a bit like didn't want to be put back in a cot after I gave her a bottle and um, and all that so I sort of brought her in bed with me which I never really do because she sort of doesn't sleep well she's not settled well in with me and I really don't want to go down that path and start that habit because I find obviously with her in here I'm, I'm worried like with her in my bed I'm worried um, and yeah just I don't sleep that good with with her in there because she she was like right up with me then she's moving around her feet yeah it's just yeah she doesn't like lay up on pillows or anything like that she just doesn't feel like she wants it seems like she obviously wants to lay on pillows she doesn't have a pillow in her cot so she just wanted to lay on the mattress so she sprawled out and yeah but anyway but she acting very funny very um different but anyway that was all well she I can't remember the last time she actually woke up through the night so she usually sleep till 5 30 6 ish um in the morning after going down 6 6 30 overnight so I'm not complaining with that I'm just saying something had definitely been up with her so as I was saying I was um yeah sitting on the lounge under the fan whilst, whilst I finally got her to sleep on this particular day that I'm doing these voiceovers and I was catching up on well I've got many favorite youtubers but I was watching um Ashley and Hayley here on YouTube two good really friends of mine their newest videos and I was sitting there and then I had this voiceover still to do but I sort of was you know pushing it um to the side of, of doing it because sometimes like I love the editing um of YouTube I really enjoy that side of it but sometimes the voiceovers are so hard because you know I obviously only do it when Harper's napping and I don't really so much do it if I'm not anymore because I'm you know trying to spend time with Colin and and all of that and you're just sort of a bit exhausted come night time so I had this voiceover to do and I was sitting there but then I sort of watched them two girls videos and so I have to thank you girls very much because I just yeah and then I sort of went nah, get up and and do this voiceover you know because then it's done so then I can definitely get this video up um, because I used to have a bit of a schedule um, upload schedule and it sort of just went by the wayside but I'm really trying to obviously if I film the content I'm really trying to upload Thursday nights and Tuesday nights so um, yeah hopefully I can stick to that but anyway I'll stop yabbering on now and let you just enjoy the music and the motivation
ago I sort of felt like I had to take a step back um, from YouTube a little bit um, because I mean unless you've sort of you know have a channel and actually done all the creating and everything of um, content on YouTube, YouTube videos, um, you sort of don't really, like I never really knew what was involved when I, because for years I've watched YouTubers, um, but yeah, I didn't know what was involved, like I just thought, oh yeah, you know, I mean that to me, like I thought the hardest thing would be obviously the confidence to start a channel, that's what, what it appeared like to me, like, oh, I used to say, I don't have that confidence even though I always wanted to start a channel, like it was just something always in the back of my mind anyway so i yeah i jumped in and started the channel obviously um i'm here you're watching this video but yeah so i sort of took a step back from it because there is so much involved so much time um that it takes to just put up one video so i sort of took a step back but i yeah after taking a step back i sort of had a good think and i really missed it and i i really missed like like i said the whole editing and you know like adding the music and, and creating your thumbnail and all of that and I really missed it and I really missed the people that I've met over the last well over a year I've been doing it but yeah I really missed the people that I met um that that it that it brought into my life and and all of that side and I just yeah when I when I took that step back I realized no even though it's hard harder some days than others to do and create the content it's just something after I do it and I'm sitting there got all the you know videos and, and, the, and the content to actually put it in the editor and, and edit it all and you know do the, do the thumbnails um, in Canva and that I just really really thought no this is really for me I really really like it so yeah I'm, I'm really this year making it a goal like I said I don't want to label things news resolutions or anything like that because I'm not into news resolutions I'm not for that but yeah more of a like a goal you know like I've never created a vision board but if I did have a vision board amongst heaps of other things YouTube would be there um, a big part of that um, 2022 vision board vision board because yeah I just really want to make it a goal um, a vision, you know, um, for, for 2022 and, and from this year onwards, obviously, to just keep going with it and keep at it because I do find like my soul just loves it so much and enjoys it. So, you know, well, obviously, everybody knows if you enjoy something and, and it makes you happy and, and brings you, you know, that um, bit of joy in your life, will you know, do that, like, do what makes you happy, do what brings you joy. So, yeah, I'm really going to, to stick at it this year and, and work harder than I obviously have with it up until this point. So yeah, I really hope if you're new here, if this is the first time clicking on one of my videos, um, I really hope you stick around and become part of um, this sort of community journey with me. I'd really love to have you here and it really supports my channel, hitting that subscribe button and giving me thumbs up obviously only if you enjoy this video but and leaving me your beautiful comments because I mean it's all free at the end of the day it costs nothing um, to subscribe to people to help support them in, in you know their dreams their goals so yeah I'd really love to have you here and just thanks again everybody who's here and who's always stuck by me and, and you know showed up to every one of my uploads and left me comments and yeah just showed me love on my videos and and on Instagram. So thank you. I find it hard to read you. You never say what's on your mind, yeah. I'm going crazy all over you. Just for a second, can you try every time you've been calling saying this is what I want? Then you go for a week and leave me hanging all alone. Push me back, pull me in, and the other way around. Pull me in, push me back.
that brings us to the end of this new year reset um, with me. I really hope it's brought you that motivation, whether you sort of reset. Obviously, we all have our days where we reset um, and just refresh everything, whether that be for you on a Sunday. I know a lot of people like to sort of refresh, reset on a Sunday to get ready for the week ahead. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you the motivation. And if you're new here, I would really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. It really supports my channel. It means so much to me. And I'd love to have you a part of my YouTube community and on this beautiful journey with me. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave me your comments down below because I absolutely love reading them. And I love chatting with you all down there and getting to know each and every one of you a bit better. Well, I hope you all have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye for now.